Hey, Guitar Dudes and Dudettes, thanks for checking out the video. It's been a while. Last time you were here, we were unboxing this EVH Wolfgang, and I haven't really been able to play it that much. I haven't been able to enjoy it uh, because it's been so dry and cold here. Once it arrived at my house, it almost instantaneously got horrible fret sprout, like super sharp. So, uh, as we're doing the triple unboxing today, one of the boxes is from Stu Mac. You see Stu Max, that's their shipping, but it's actually from Stu Mac. And uh, these are hopefully going to help me uh, fix the fret sprout. So let's get these out real quick because I've been needing these for a while. I'm going to use the Philip McKnight method of uh, fixing these frets. And I'll link to the video up above. Uh, Philip has a... Uh, video where he shows you how to do this with these specific tools and using some regular uh, painters tape so uh, like I said there'll be a link up above and you can go check out the video for yourself so let's see what we got here is the, the main item so this is a uh, file heavy duty thing too man that's hefty and this is used to go along the edge of the frets there knock that nasty sharp fret spread down and also in here I got a fret file small little file this one's specifically made to kind of knock off the burrs and the round off the edge of the frets and uh, it's made so that it won't uh, scratch the fretboard so you'll see both these tools in action in uh, that video up there and uh, that's going to specifically be used on this uh, purple guitar here I don't know if I'll do a video since I just sent you to a video that shows you how to do it. I'm going to watch the video myself and then do it. So do it that way. But uh, let's get on to this next little box right here real quick. So uh, this one is uh, from Friedman Amplification. Ta-da! And uh, actually this is going in my Truman guitar. Um, I love this gu guitar to death. It's so super fun to play. Here's a little sample. But the pickup in the bridge is so hot. It's 14.79. And because of that, I just have a heck of a time, you know, dialing in a uh, tone. I can get a good sound out of it. Maybe it sounds, but it's just, it's difficult. So anyway, I decided to go with a Friedman pickup. This is the uh, Classic Plus Humbucker. It's a little bit hotter than the regular one. I think this is 8.2. And uh, here it is right here. So now the, the big challenge, other than getting this installed, is going to be uh, to uh, corrode the pole pieces so that it'll uh, look like you need a tetanus shot after you play it uh, so it'll match up. But yeah, a Friedman Classic Plus Humbucker. I think I said it's 8.2. Uh, yeah, 8.2K bridge, uh, da, 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 80 20 wax pot, Alenco 5 magnet. Custom voice by Dave Friedman, made in the USA by Grover Jackson. So I don't know if Grover actually hand wound in this pickup or not, but if he did, that's pretty freaking cool. So anyway, uh, that'll be a, a project uh, that this is going to get swapped out, and we'll see if we'll like this a little bit uh, better. It's still a hot PAF, but I think it'll give me a lot more range with my pedals. Right now, I just have one kind of little setting I can use, and anything other than that, it's just too bright or too brittle. Or too much gain and it's just really hard to dial it down so anyway let's move on to the big box okay I'm excited about this so this came from a shop in Nashville Tennessee called guitars to be played and if you saw the thumbnail you saw the name Fano and uh, Fano is Dennis Fano and he is currently the hottest thing in Nashville making guitars out of pine and those are the Novo guitars and if you've heard of Novo you've probably also heard of the Revolta guitars and uh, Revolta is the import, import brand that he's designed those are sold by uh, Eastwood so anyway I saw this Fano guitar for sale at this shop in Nashville it was actually on reverb, but 
I don't deal with reverb anymore. I just use it like the one ads, and I just called them up on the phone, and we had a nice little conversation, and I bought the guitar, and it's freaking badass looking. If it plays anywhere like it looks, I'm going to be very, very thrilled. So, this is a gig bag guitar. So, in the world of Fano, Fano guitars, if you're aware, if you, if you watch Rhett or you watch RJ, they both have Fano guitars. They're uh, completely handmade in Nashville uh, by Dennis, Dennis Fano's shop there. And uh, these guitars are actually made in the USA in Arizona. So, Fano is his original guitar company. And he sold that name and the guitar company. Uh, and uh, so the guitars are still produced in the USA and what's cool about them is one builder builds your guitar start to finish so it's uh, not only is it a boutique hand-built guitar but it's built by one luthier which I think is pretty cool and these run about half of what the Novo guitars cost so uh, let me go ahead and get the rest of this packing out of here and it comes in a bag I'll get the bag out with we'll Skip to the end. All right, there it is. Really nice bag. Got lots of handles. Handle here, handle here, handles here. Backpack straps, and this fold-over cover. Let's see if there's any stuff in these pockets here. No, nope, those are empty. All right, let's try these up at the top. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, here we go. There's some case candy. Nothing in there. All right, let's see what we got. It says, uh, Fano Guitars, Candy Apple Red. Builder is W. McClave, M-C-C-L-A-V-E was inspected by Jay Welch, was built or finished on November 8th, 2021. And then it goes on to give the specs there. Desert Sun Instruments LLC is the owner of Fano Guitars now. Oh, let's see what this is. Oh, I think this is, uh, so here's the spec sheet. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that they, they send you the spec sheet so you can see exactly what it is that uh, that uh, Mr. McClave uh, built into your guitar. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. I'm tired of waiting. This guitar is called the JM6 Ultra, and Ultra is some fancy word that means like unbelievable or something to that effect. Look at that. So yeah, it's candy apple red. It's distressed. Look at the friggin' neck. Wow, there's some actual little bit of flame in the neck. I mean, not a lot, but there's some. But wow, that's nice. So it's like a medium C neck. Kind of like the PRS pattern thin, but a little bit bigger. Maybe a little flatter on the back than a Fender C, but nice. Nice fretwork, rosewood board. It's got some really cool finish checking. I don't know if you can see that or not. So this is my first experience with a uh, misshapen guitar body, the offset body. Two humbuckers, one's a P90 actually. This is a uh, Lawler Imperial. They're both the Lawler pickups, Lawler P90 and an Imperial in the neck. You got push pull to split the pickup. It's got the uh, vintage style, like a Cluson tuner there. Made in the USA and Arizona. Sorry about that glare. Yeah, pretty freaking cool. Ultra JM6. And I knew what Ultra meant. And now I forgot, so I'll go ahead and add it to the video here after I look it up. <laughs> but yeah, freaking cool. It's fairly light too. Nice 
kind of like carve action on the uh, joint there. Nice. So I've had a few relic guitars. I've actually had two Friedman guitars, and I, I loved both of them as far as the way they played and sounded, except I didn't like the necks. The necks were just a little bit too 1959 Les Paul for me. I don't know. I have little hands. But uh, I like these uh, thinner necks. I wouldn't exactly call this neck thin, but I would say it's got nice little rounded shoulders and then kind of maybe that PRS pattern thin, a little bit of a not flat spot on the back, but just kind of nice little taper off instead of being uh, too big and round for my little hand. But wow, that, that feels fantastic. So uh, yeah, pretty excited, all aged. Ready to rock. We'll shoot some B-roll and let's get some uh, tones out of this thing before we say bye. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's take a tour of this guitar. Here you can see some of the fine checking. You can't really feel it so much as you can see it. I think it looks pretty cool. I guess it's uh, to taste whether you like the Relic look or not. Comes with a Tone Pros Tunematic Bridge and Stop Tailpiece, obviously in the aged nickel to match all the rest of the hardware. Perloid pit guard. Got the nickel covers on the pickups. Even have a, a nickel switch tip. Really nice fret work on the rosewood fretboard. The dots are perloid. Now they call the aging on the neck here medium distress. And on the body they refer to it as light. And they're using a like a vintage amber tint on the uh, parts of the neck that... Uh, that you can see the raw raw wood there hand belt in Arizona the neck is fantastic it's so so incredibly smooth and uh, not overly large right in the sweet spot for me and then the cool custom back plate with just the F for Fano here's a look at the back same checking not overly dinged I mean I think they did a pretty realistic job on their aging very comfortable belly cut. It's a very comfortable guitar to play all the way around. All right, let's see what she sounds like. Okay, got it all tuned up. It's a half step down on this one. We'll start off on the uh, humbucker up here. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Yeah, sounds great, gang. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in and rock on.